Hello friends, in today's video I'm going to show you how I make this beautiful bracelet. If you're interested, I also have a video on how I make this bracelet. So the things that I'm going to need to make this bracelet is a mat, uh, two pliers, fishing line, I use these sizes. Um, I got two different colours of Miyuki beads, the size is 11-0 and then I have sterling silver closures in which I have spring ring, 3mm jump ring, 5mm jump ring and two fold over crew bands. The first thing that I'm going to do is take fishing line and I will take approximately 80 centimeters and I forgot to mention that I need scissors as well so I cut that and I fold it over I'll just move the fishing line out of the way so I fold over the fishing line and I take this end where I'm gonna pull the cream and and the way I do it, I take the fishing line and I wrap it around the crimp end, like so. You can see here, it's like wrapped around. And then I take one set of pliers and I fold one side to a half. And then I fold the other side to the half, so it creates like a triangle and if you can see I have the fishing line coming through the corners and I don't want to do it fully right away because sometimes the fishing line just gets out of the crimp end and it's hard to put it in and I have wasted so much material doing that and you don't want to do it so this is the safe way you fold it halfway through both and then you start folding down whichever side a little bit then you do the other side a little bit and just bit by bit you just fold down them completely and just to make sure that the fish fishing line stays inside and then you just tie it and this is how it looks And then we can start beading. So I choose these colors because I just like, if you can see, I just like like creamy colors. And I think it's just nice and easy to mix and match with other jewelry pieces. So the first thing we do, we take one bead and we pull fishing line through each side of the bead. One side of fishing line from, through one side and the other side of the fishing line through the other side and it creates like an X and you just pull the sides down and this is how it looks and then you take four beads you put two on one side of the fishing line and then you put two on the other side of the fishing line like so then you just let them go down and then you take one golden bead and you put both ends of the fishing line through the bead like so and you drag it down and this is how it looks right now and you take this end and you fold it over and now it looks like this and then you take one end of the fishing line you put through two beads on one side and then you take the other side of the fishing line you put it through the other side two beads And then you just pull the fishing line so it tightens up and then we take another bead and pull as we did the first one 
each end of the fishing line through opposite side of the bead and just drag it down. And this is your first daisy done. And then you take one golden bead and you did what you just did. You pull each end of the fishing line through opposite side of the bead. And you drag it down by pulling the ends of the fishing line and you just pull them. So it's nice and tight. And then you do what you did just now. You pull. You take one of the brown beads, you pull each end of the fishing line through opposite side of the bead, like so, drag it down, and then you take four beads of the brown ones, and you put two beads on each end of the fishing line like so, let them go down, then you take golden bead, put both ends of the fishing line through the golden bead, drag it down, and this is where we are now, we take these two ends, we fold it over, we take one end of the fishing line, put through two beads on one side, and then you take the other end of the fishing line and you pull it through the other side of the two beads and you pull the ends of the fishing line now we take one brown bead pull each end of the fishing line through opposite side of the bead and drag it down and you want to make sure that the golden bead sticks out on the same side side so you take this daisy and you just push the sides so it goes behind and when you drag this bead down you will automatically leave the golden bead to stick out on this side like it does for this daisy like so and then i take another golden bead i put each side of the fishing line through the opposite side of the bead and drag it down let's do it one more time take one round bead i put each end of the fishing line to the opposite side of the bead like an x I drag it down then I take four beads of the brown ones put two on each end of the fishing line like so then I take one golden bead put both ends of the fishing line through drag it down So oops, we fold it over, take one end of the fishing line, put it through one side of the bead, one side of the two beads, and then we take the other side of the fishing line, put it through the other side two beads. And then we take another brown bead, put each end of the fishing line through opposite side of the bead, create an X, drag it down and again we need to make sure that the golden middle bead sticks out on the same side which is this side so we take the unfinished daisy and we push the sides backwards and then we drag down the bead and it creates the third daisy and then we take one golden bead Put each end of the fishing line through opposite side of the bead. Drag it down. And here we go. We just made three daisies. So I'm just going to finish the whole bracelet and then I'll show you how I do the ends.
My bracelet is 15 centimeters. I like to have mine about 16 centimeters, but if you're not sure your size, you can just pull it around and remember that you're still gonna have the cream cover and the spring ring or lobster claw, claw or any other closure that you're gonna use. So to finish the bracelet, we're gonna take the fold over crimp end and we're gonna put these two bits of fishing line on top of it and it kind of goes in the corners there and then we take the pliers and we do the same thing that we did earlier we just fold the sides halfway through so it creates like a triangle and now you can see I have a little little gap there but I would leave it because there is a little bit here that will fall down and now once you have done the triangle, you can start moving the sides down bit by bit. And then the other one. And just squeeze it very, very tight. And this is how it looks. And now we just cut the ends. And then we take, I'm going to use three millimeter jump ring. I will open it up and I'll pull, pull it through the hole like so. And then I will take the spring ring and put that on the jump ring as well. And take the second plier and just close the jump ring. And then I take the other side of the bracelet and the five millimeter jump ring, open it up, put, it, put the bracelet on and close it. And this is your bracelet done. This one here is like how it's closed and here how it looks on the hand. Let me know what you think about the, th the bracelet and the tutorial and if you enjoyed this video please like and subscribe and I will see you next time. Bye!